Yeah, because we spent so many hours, so many um, days building this up because for a lot of us, it's like our child, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. When you have that newborn child, you spend every waking moment. Yeah, you may complain that I'm not getting enough sleep. That's the same way business owners say, right? I feel like I haven't slept in days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. And, and for some, I, I remember working in the corporate world and it was almost like um, a badge of honor if you hadn't slept for three days straight or if you'd come into work at seven in the morning before everyone, like it was almost like who can do outdo each other and who can be better by suffering the most and in reality that only leads to really bad health and really bad mental and physical health and I think when you realize how successful you can be by doing all the things that serve you the best that is a big game changer it's like the people bragging about not getting paid for all the overtime hours and yeah. working, right? <laughs> yeah, like, well, okay, do you want to leave or do you want to continue working? Like, it's bizarre when you think back <laughs> to it. When I think back to it, even, I just think, wow, I, I'm in a completely different place right now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those days where you come in, let's say, 30, 60 minutes before your, your start time, and then you leave 30, 60 minutes afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then once you get home, you're tired, and you're always wondering why. And it's like, well, you're working 14 hours. You work, sorry, you're working 10, 12-hour days. Yeah, right? absolutely. And then some. And then some. And I think the, the corporate world, it does take over your life. And some people love it and thrive off of it, and they live for that kind of lifestyle. And some people don't, and I'm definitely not one of those people. And I think because the corporate world takes over your world, like I used to get up and be on a train at 7, 18, be at work, go for lunch with people at work, hang out after work with people at work, go to the gym with people at work. Like all of my weekends were, were with people from work. And it's like, it's all consuming. And then taking a completely different direction is like rebuilding your entire life and it's tough and it's long but it's so worth it and that's another thing like when for those who, who may not be in a corporate setting you always remember the time you're leaving to go to work and it's never on the hour it's always like a 7 18 <laughs> yeah. 4 20 you, you know what i mean it's like you don't ever finish on the hour no, no. <laughs> it's not clean it's very very messy <laughs> yeah and and you begin to I don't want to say it takes over your life, but that's probably a good way to describe it is everything you start to do becomes centered around your work. Mm -hmm. You know what? You travel to work. You're probably traveling with the people. You probably see the people that work there. Mm -hmm. When you want to go out and eat, you're going out to lunch with them, dinner with them. Yeah. And then you reach a point where even the grocery stores and the restaurants you go to are the ones that your colleagues go to. It's like... And I think, and I, mean, I spoke to this in regards to someone's, it's like it's a relationship yeah. where um, I was this person, I'm with Arisha now, now all of a sudden, I don't even remember the restaurants I used to go to. It's always, <laughs> right? It's always where you go to now. It's like it's taken over your life and that same amount of energy you can put into something that you can ultimately own. Was it like that where you, for you where it's, was taking over your life and then you reach a point where you're like you know what let me take a step back this isn't for me let me take that same energy and put it to something that i'm passionate and i'm going to love like the coachable you yeah it was and i think i stayed for too long in my old job so i started my business whilst i was still working because i think that level of income is so useful when you're starting a business um Absolutely. and I think that's a lot of people that's what I tell a lot of people that like when you start a business it's really really expensive and it's tough but if you've got a steady income you'll always succeed a hell of a lot more than if you just quit day one and go all in and have no idea where your income's coming from um but I also think that there's there's a point where you realize that you're every single day is working towards something that you no longer align yourself with you no longer love you no longer want to be around and that's the really really tough part of working in a company that you don't want to be in whether you want to do another job or whether you want to retire or start your own business whatever direction you want to take your life in the least 
the least uh, if you love if you don't love that thing anymore it becomes so much harder and harder and harder and you become more negative and more negative and more negative but if you can build your dream path or if you can create a new cv for your dream job or create a retirement plan that you absolutely adore that's so much more power empowering and builds your positive mindset at the same time 